Here's a burning question that's kept Taiwanese society divided for eons now. Is it IKEA or is it IKEA? You might think I'm joking, but this is a legitimate topic of contention between family and friends in Taiwan. The number of times I've seen a docile conversation get derailed over the correct pronunciation of a Swedish furniture brand should be zero, but it's not. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me lay it out for you. When it comes to foreign languages adopted and integrated into Taiwanese life, Taiwan likes to make some interesting decisions on pronunciation. For example, if you were to talk about a smartphone app in Taiwan, you wouldn't say app, you would say APP. And I know what you're about to say. But Leslie, app isn't an acronym, why would you? Look, I know, I know. I very much know, believe me, I've been here for seven years. But I am just one man. I cannot change an entire society's linguistic habits. So divisive is the pronunciation of what I call IKEA that it reached the highest levels of Taiwanese diplomacy. You see, Taiwan is hosting a parliamentary delegation from Sweden led by Boriana Auberg. And our very own foreign minister Joseph Wu asked her, how do you pronounce the name of the furniture brand from your country? I try to ask you about some pronunciation that a lot of people here misunderstand or it's not very clear. It's about IKEA or IKEA. It's a very popular <laughs> brand over here. A lot of people call it IKEA, but I don't know whether that is correct. Albert told Wu to answer his question, he should watch Lucas Engstrom, a Swedish YouTuber in Taiwan. Oh, but you have to watch a YouTuber Lucas Engstrom because uh, he asked me the same question yesterday when he interviewed uh, Lars Dattison and me. So uh, we can keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> the video will be released next week, so uh, please watch Lucas Engstrom's channel. Ever insistent, U asked Auberg to give him an answer on the spot, and this is what she said. Ikea. Ikea. So it turns out it's neither Ikea or Ikea, it's Ikea. Both sides in Taiwan are wrong. And I don't think Taiwan wants to be right anymore. I think people here just want to invent their own language. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to download the RTI APP.